Hey YouTube, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are going to be doing the infamous 2016 Tesla painted black video. And if you see that great house right in front of us, that's the house that the Tesla originally pulled out of in 2016. Obviously I can't go into the driveway of the house to start this test because I don't want to trespass, but we're going to start right next to it. So with that, let's begin our test, shall we? 2023 edition, <laughs> sorry. Turn left onto Sharon Park Drive. Oh, wow, it's quick. Yeah, I really like flirted it out of that turn. So one thing I will, you know, she's gonna love to talk over me. One thing I will say though, um, is that this is a very simple route um, that they chose for 2016. Unbelievably simple. Um, however, still very fascinating to watch and see. Very excited. Very excited to be doing this again in 2023, seven years after the infamous 2016 rendition. One thing I will say, Vivek, is that uh, when I watched back the original rendition in 2016, um, there's a lot of cuts. I am paying attention. It peeped at me. I'm not sure what that was. Um, but uh, like right now, like this whole area we're driving through right now was cut from the original video. And then all of a sudden, you'll get to uh, the main roundup here in the real video. There are. And they tried to do it slightly by cutting through to the side camera, but then ended up, ended up skipping a bunch of road. So we have no idea what happened. Yeah, it skipped like quarter miles, half miles, even full miles. It's unbelievable. But here we are. Now turn right onto Sand Hill Road. So in the original video, you would have seen a right, on the right hand side, they would have shown the right camera looking at a field and they cut back to this main road. Um, and they would have just missed out on that entire just, uh, section we just did. It's stopping about 25, 30 feet before the line back there. And now it's not yielding. Oh God, fuck. Did right. not even for there. Luckily, every single car that was coming turned right and was not going straight on this road. That was terrifying. It also pulled straight to the left lane, which was uncomfortable. Okay, now it took us into the left turn lane. Oh, <laughs> you go back into the straight lane. Okay. <laughs> oh man, classic up this team. I miss this. So my hands are firmly on the wheel because there are some bicyclists here. Never know how I might be. Slowing down. Went down about six miles per hour. Moved over to the left for them. And speeds back up after we passed them. That was actually very smooth, I have to admit. Yeah, I'm about... Yeah, that would have been interesting. Take the interstate 280 south ramp on the left towards San Jose. Oh, there. Okay, we're getting a little close to this. We're going a little far close to the yellow line, but we're staying within the lines. It's going a little wider than Apex. Now take the interstate 280 south. So you probably see that there's, if you're watching this at home, that there's a, a lot of sections that you're probably seeing into our video that you don't probably remember from the 2016 video. And that's like we were saying, they did a lot of sly cuts by showing the different camera angles. So that way they could uh, omit a lot of the roads that were more complex or where it was probably failing. How long was that video, John? It was only like three, four minutes, right? Yeah, I, I would say if I, off the top of my memory, it was about three to five minutes. And this drive is actually about a nine to 11 minute drive. I'm gonna increase the speed to 75. Whoa, my hands are on the wheel. It still does that odd lane centering thing. Yeah, where there's a merge. Yeah. And then as soon as the middle line goes away, it swings to the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's this is autopilot. We're uh, this, we're no longer on FSD. So I don't think much about it, how that has changed. 
freeway so for now we're gonna go from the autopilot stock boom into the FSD beta stock I love it so let's go 30 here let's see how it performs it's slowing down nice I like it all right gets us in the proper lane now turn left onto Page Mill Road that needs one of the weirdest rims. I've never seen those before. They look like bicycle rims. <laughs> okay, we now have the right away. Again, there goes the Tesla. Starting to rain a little bit, and yep, boom, there goes the wipers. Right on cue. That was actually pretty great. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. We're gonna go a little faster than that. We're gonna go five miles. We're gonna set to five miles over. It's going over a solid white that we're not allowed to cross. So right there, it did just uh, break a lot. Or vehicle code, I should say. like this like a little blue path it's kind of showing or it's like I'm not really sure what it's for but I'm liking it makes the turn very well got the memories I used to uh, actually work out of this office um, quite a lot I used to drive the Tesla ground truth machine vehicles which are the lidar equipped uh, roof rack vehicles you see that uh, we used to use those to collect data to program Tesla's uh, self-driving features basically you overlay lidar with video and radar Google map data very fun not actually not fun at all but um, but uh, yeah this takes me back I used to come here every day for about a year and a half all right let's see if it's gonna turn us into the parking lot I will say that there is gonna be a security guard so I don't think we'll be able to get into the actual parking parking lot bot but uh, let's see how it does Boom, and just like that, it pulls us into Tesla's headquarters. We love it. And here we are. Now your destination is on the right. Hi. I wonder why they cut so much from the original. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't make much sense to me. Um, other than the fact that we now know from court documents that it was pretty much faked. Um, it took them all day to create it they did nine probably separate drives i think it's what they quoted um and they had to splice together multiple different drives into one to make it look good and because of those little camera trickeries they were able to omit probably about 60 percent of the actual drive to make it look like more polished than it probably was in 2016 or than we actually know not now know it was in 2016. So now we can say pretty confidently that seven years later in 2023, it can do this drive pretty well. Yeah, it can do a drive very, very well. Um, I'm actually quite uh, amazed by Tesla's progress. I mean, they're, I hate to say they're seven years late, but that's still awesome technology that we have right here. But it's still, if you look at our FSD San Jose videos though, like just because it can do these simple suburbs and freeways doesn't mean that it can handle every use case mm -hmm. scenario. We have it do horrible stuff all the time such as drive down railroad tracks goes on sidewalks oh definitely um this is a really easy drive they yeah. should have been able to do it back in 2016. yeah no it should have easily been able to do it no problem in 2016 if they truly were if everything what they were saying was true from what they were claiming it should have no problem done in 2016 but mm -hmm. as we now know based off the cuts doubtful but anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and uh well make sure you subscribe and hit that like button it really does help us out um when you guys support our channel um and we'll see you next time thank you goodbye